We we like to do the missions, but we also like to just drive around and like just mess around, and just like jump over stuff. And that's why I like driving games because I like to. I like games where it's like serious driving, but I also like driving games that it's like more arcade. So I just, I, I appreciate driving in general, just automo automobiles, whether they're two wheels, four wheels, three wheels, five wheels, seven wheels, nine wheels. I just appreciate vehicles Motor or one wheel. Shout out to one wheels, vehicles with one wheel. It's kind of cool. Okay. It's here, I'm gonna start. Now I'm gonna start. Okay, I'm starting. Sorry, guys. I haven't... That's the other thing I think is cool about YouTube is, you know, when, when people are like, look, this guy takes forever to make a point. But what if it's on my channel? Then I can take forever. No, some people like uh, long-form content. Uh, I am one of those people. I appreciate um, lectures. That was the one thing I really enjoyed about college is just listening to someone speak about a subject for, like, hours. I loved it. I really did. Okay, so um, Uncharted, I haven't played it yet. Uncharted. And I'm gonna work on my English pronunciation. I feel like it's good. I feel like it's important to read again. More so now, now that I'm like middle-aged. No, I feel like I've entered middle age. That's the other thing, you know, like now that I'm 40, like I can't lie to myself and pretend that I'm not middle-aged. I'm middle-aged. But you know, I think there's advantages to being middle-aged as well. Unpacked, unpacking is cool, bro. I really, I, this is a game that I didn't think that I would like, <laughs> but, but it's so addictive. It is. Um, my son likes this, War Thunder. We played it maybe five minutes, but it, it seems cool. Bolt Gun, I bought this. I'm super excited to play it. I really am. I just haven't made the time. It's one of those games where it's like, it, it reminds me of, of my childhood. It reminds me of the 90s, 80s, 90s. No, 90s more probably. 90s, late 90s. Reminds me of late 90s. I like it. I do. Shout out to Quake 3 Arena. I loved it. Loved it. Weird West. This is a cool game. I think I only have the demo. I don't know. Or maybe it came out on um, Premium. I'm not sure. The one thing I do like about Premium that I haven't really heard anyone speak about, and that's uh, PlayStation Premium, by the way, um, is the core uh sony core where you can watch movies and stuff i hope they expand that i hope that more movies get on there and more maybe more movies that like aren't like netflix and like you know movies that fall under that the the category of the mainstream um uh what would you say mainstream me like media i think is that rude I and mean, you know I feel, I feel like netflix and and Apple were like the anti-mainstream media, but I feel like they've almost become the mainstream again. It's weird. I don't know, because the mainstream kind of like fell off. I like, does anyone watch like NBC, ABC, all the... Does anyone have cable anymore? No, I'm curious. Like, I wonder if anyone has cable TV anymore. Um, Trek to Yumi, 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 excuse me if I pronounced your name wrong. This looks so sweet, bro. And this is not all inclusive. I'm sorry. I know there's 87 games on the hard drive now. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's slightly deceptive. I have a two terabyte um, SSD in uh, RPS5. And uh, it's almost full. And there's 87 games. And that's a mix of games. I have some games that are like 500 megabytes. And then I have uh, Call of Duty. All right. Yeah, and also, there's games now that are pushing like 150 gigs. So there's like huge games, um, and I think I have a broad, a broad range. So, um, you know, your mileage may vary, but with two terabytes and the storage on the PlayStation, I can fit almost 100 games. Almost. Tony Hawk's, dude. This is just nostalgia. Uh, I played this a lot on the original PlayStation. Um, but I, I want to play this again. This I just downloaded because it looked cool. I, I don't really even remember anything about it. The Witcher. Um, it looks sweet. It does. Look, I'm not going to... I don't... Some of these ga Some games... Look, I just want to focus on the ones I want to focus on. That's me. That's who I am. Okay. TMNT. This is like this and uh, Broforce. Do I have Broforce on here? I hope I do. But those are the only two games we've beaten, I think, this year. So I haven't beaten a lot of games this year. 
Um, I also really love, oh, and if I skip over games, it's not because I just, I just at the moment I'm not playing it or I'm just, you know, I don't, I don't have anything to say about it. So I just want to talk about the ones that I, I'm, I'm interested in. That's where I'm at. Look, I'm at 10 minutes. Maybe I'll start the video over now and be like, look. <laughs> no, I'm just messing around. I like, I like this. I'm going to upload it. The only problem with uploading really long videos, I don't mind watching. Like I've, I don't know if like anyone else out there on YouTube world, you ever watched like an older video that's like a long video, like 30 minutes long. And you're like, you know what? That was fun. You know, it just took me down memory lane. Um, and maybe that's only special to me, you know, the person making the video. And if no one else finds value in that, I think it still is a valuable thing to do because it benefited me, if that makes any sense. This looks cool. The Callistico Protocol. Um, definitely, that's a game I want to play. I forget. I confused that one and... Um, what's that other one called? I forget. But, um, dude, this game, The Gardens Between... I've had this for so long and I've wanted to play. I just, I don't know why. I haven't been able to just like get myself to play, but that's definitely a game I want to play. Tear Down, my son and I, we just like, like breaking buildings and stuff. This was the first game I bought for the PS4, I believe, or my wife got me, excuse me. So that was like, and I, and I still haven't beat it or even played that much of it. So that just shows you where I'm at. This I bought uh, when it originally came out. I remember for my PC. Um, or Mac, I don't remember exactly, but I remember being super, super, super excited for the re release of this game. I think it was, I remember, 2004, five? I don't know, I don't know. I take it back, I don't remember. Um, this looked like a cool demo. <coughs> Excuse me. My wife just got this for my son, Sonic Frontiers. Dude, Sonic is awesome, bro. And I know that's like what Sega chooses to like focus on, but Sonic is so cool. Okay, uh, let's see. I don't want to get this too crazy. I, I love Saints Row. I don't know why people dog Saints Row. I, I think it's an awesome game. I really appreciate it. I could probably spend hundreds of hours playing Saints Row. Uh, and I want to get back to playing Saints Row. Um, Roki? That, it, dude, this seems like a really cool game. Like how you move the map. I believe that's, a, that's what it is. But... um. You get pieces of a map, and then as you put it, the map together, you get to explore the map, and then you have to rotate the pieces. Okay, I deleted all my trials. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the only trial I have in here, but I just want to, I want to try it. So, and the reason for that is I just don't have room. I, you know, I wish I could get, I think really, look, I, I don't consider myself that hard in core into gaming. I love video games. I do. I feel like they're a lot of fun, and I think that realistically everyone probably plays video games whether they acknowledge it or not because maybe they don't realize like what they play on their phone is like a video game i don't know because it's weird like some people they they do it like the candy crush or the I, I don't know all of the names but like the ones where you chop the watermelons i mean it's still a video game <laughs> you know and uh and that's my thing too like if someone's cool with playing that type of game like for decades dude it's cool bro Ollie Ollie World, I want to play that game. I, I love, I just love, uh, I've never been on a one wheel, but I think I know myself good enough, well enough, that uh, I think I would have fun. Same with Ollie Ollie World, I, it's just cool. Outer Wilds, this, this game seems cool. Um, I know there were quite a few um, Twitch streamers that, was, that were streaming this game a while back. Overwatch 2. It's a great game. It really is. I just, I, I really feel like I, I would have needed a lot more time to get good. And um, yeah, I, I hope one day I, I come back to Overwatch and I hope I, I hope I can play um, in a way that just showcases my abilities um, because it, it is a really good game. So uh, I do love me baseball and uh that was also one of the first games I bought when I got the PS5, PS4, excuse me. Minecraft Dungeons, my son and I, we play that. I actually really enjoy games like that. Also like um, Bro Force, just like the four person where you can like go across the screen together. I love those type of games. Uh, Spider-Man, dude, I just wish I had time to play both of them. I haven't, you know, that's the, that's the other thing. It's just, 
Uh, it's not frustrating because I love spending time with my, my sons and my family, so I don't get upset, but it's like, I wish I did have more time to play video games. This game I just bought for myself for Christmas, and uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I think it's going to be a, a lot, a lot of fun. Okay, here we go. Horizon, I want to play these games because they look super sweet. I watched, uh, I think it was Miss Click primarily play these uh, on Twitch and, and they just, it looked cool. Uh, Gungrave, this game is so fun, bro. It's so much fun. Like when I have just a few moments to play a game, I'm like, dude, and I don't want to have to think or like worry about stuff or like have to like, no, because sometimes I want to, a strategy game or something. I, I like all genres, really. Um, but not all the time, if that makes any sense. Like, uh, you know, so just... Ghost of Tsushima. That, like, I would say probably Like a Dragon, Ghost of Tsushima. Um, really the Yakuza type games as well. Like, I or all of them, excuse me. I, that's, I really enjoy that. I really enjoy... I actually really enjoy a game that teaches me about history while I'm... Uh, enjoying beating people up. Gran Turismo, that was probably my all-time favorite game. Ah, excuse me, all-time. See, I, when I get excited, I can't talk. Gran Turismo on the PlayStation, the original PlayStation, was probably my favorite game. That and um, Resident Evil. I played a lot of Resident Evil, but I was just weird. I would play that only at night when I was, like, alone <laughs> and everyone was asleep and I would turn the lights off and and just like, <laughs> just be like okay with getting scared. <laughs> I I don't know why I enjoyed being scared a lot when I was like younger. <laughs> Shout out to my family who would play horror horror movies when I was like very young. I remember that. I was like I, I remember watching Hellraiser at like a very unreasonable unreasonably <laughs> young age. <laughs> but I think it's okay, you know. I think. Uh, I do. I really do. I think kids are, like, really good at, like, you know, just, like, moving past a lot of stuff. Fortnite, I think it's really cool. They added Legos to it. I think Fortnite is, dude, you have racing, you have a racing game, a shooting game, and a, build, a Lego building game. Like, they nailed it, bro. They nailed it. Final Fantasy VII Remake, dude, that is a game I really want to play. I just... That, that's another one. It's like, I just need to make the time for that game. Actually, I would, like, secretly, I would love to be, like, a streamer on um, Twitch and then just stream, like, all the games that I love playing or I want to play and then get paid to, like, play the games that I want to play. That would be cool. I really I really do think so. Okay, this looks cool, too. I, again, I just love racing games. Um, let me go quicker. I started playing this up. I thought it was kind of cool. Dude, I, I can't remember if I bought this for... Um, the switch or the or the ps4 or ps5 that's the other thing i'm like i don't understand really how that works though how you could buy something and then not be able to use it's almost like saying like i bought these songs but i can only listen to it in my car and if i try to listen to it on another radio i have to buy them again it's like strange it's strange how you like buy a game <laughs> on one console but then it's like i gotta buy which when it's a really good game i don't mind it like, if I, like, I appreciate, like, the people who developed it, I'm like, you know what? I'll buy the game, like, ten times, bro. So, I could see both sides on that. Devil May Cry, that's something, that's a game I, I absolutely love. I want, I want to play again. Finish, excuse me. This is what I want to finish. Maybe this, maybe this video has become things I want to accomplish in 2024. That's what I'm going to say. This video is things I want to accomplish in 2024. This is my New Year's resolution, but I always like to do things way early. So, um, my, this is my resolution video. Cult of the Lamb. This game looks hysterical. I, I love it. I want to finish playing it. Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk 2. I bought. I haven't even finished Coffee Talk 1, but that's how good Coffee Talk is. Cloud Punk. This game looks so fun. So addictively fun. Um, Alan Wake, same thing. I'm like, some games, I'm like, I have to stop because I know it, it's, it's going to be... I'm going to want to play it. No, Alan Way, I started playing it. I'm like, I, ha I can't. I can't invest like a few hours. Some games I'm like, either have to like really get into it or I can't even get into it. Like, or I know myself enough to be like, okay, I'm going to get really into this. Same thing with the Batman. 
Batman series. This I like because it's like, I like this story, com like this, like the comic scrolling reading aspect of that, I, especially with, with my sons. Um, that's it. Oh, I, I do, uh, I do love me some flying games. I think that's the other thing that needs to come out or more games need to come out where it's like, I, no, I love, oh, that's where, yo, okay, that's the point of the video. My son's here. Microsoft, please release. If you do anything, I, I hope that um, Flight Simulator comes to PlayStation 5. That's what I want. Thank you. We love you. That, that's my, no. my recap. Those are all our games. Yeah. I just showed them all our games, but, and I talked a little bit about them. And, and what games I wanted to play for um for next year? Do you, which game do you want to play for sure? Oh, right now? No, no, for next year, like for next year, because these are all our games, bud. Gotham Knights is that a trial? I can't remember if that's a trial. I think it is. That's a trial. actually a, that's actually about that's actually about trials or delete in that game. I did. Oh, Sonic. Do you like the the Sonic game, Mommy bought you? Yeah. For Christmas. Yes, it's yes. so cool. Yes. Okay. That one is only about looking at the characters. Oh, the, this one is the game, and that one is a new game. Oh, wait, I didn't see Bro Force. I have to download Bro Force again. I don't know why it's not on here. Because the mommy wanted, mommy wanted it, but we, but I forgot to tell her to, to like, get it on here. But I forgot. I need, wait, wait, wait. I saw the airplane game. I saw a helicopter game. Bro Force Forever. It says it in the library. Did I miss it? I must not have seen it. You missed it, Daddy. You keep missing the... It says, can't find the game or app to start a connect USB storage device. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's the other thing that's a pain in the butt. Sorry, one last thing. Help, get down, please. Stop. Um, I, it's so annoying how you can't put a game on multiple hard drives. Of your own so it's like i have to remember what hard drive i put 